Aquaman in 3D, a 2018 release, a two hour and 20 minute film. 1.78 to one aspect ratio. This is DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 on the 3D disc. This is currently 6.8 on Internet Movie Database and it is 65% critics approval score on Rotten Tomatoes and 72% audience approval score on Rotten Tomatoes. This is directed by James Wan, starring Jason Momoa, Momoa as Arthur or Aquaman. You've got Amber Heard as Mira. Mer You've got uh, William Defoe as Volko. You know I'm going to mess these names up. It's just what I do. You've got Patrick Wilson as King Orm. And you've got uh, Nicole Kidman as Atlanta. Atlanta. And you've got Yahoo Abadul Mateen as Manta. Well, what do you got here? Well, before I start on that, we're going to talk about the movie. We're going to talk about the production. We're going to talk about the 3D. I just want to say that this review goes out to Rig Zag and his lovely lady, Amanda. They put the bug in my ear to go ahead and watch this. I know others may have put the bug in my ear too, but they really hammered down on me to go ahead and get this review out. So I'm doing it. I don't know how this got by me uh, or why I hadn't, you know, watched it sooner. But what you have here is an absolute extravaganza of color, 3D, depth, excitement, action, adventure. It's absolutely has everything. Okay, it has everything. Hats off to James Wan, the director. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They spent $880, $890 million in the production. $1.1 or $1.2 billion it grossed. It cleared $260 million. But they spent $890 million making it. Listen, the sets on this is absolutely incredible. This, the way they did this is absolutely incredible. Um, you need a submarine? No problem. We'll build one. We'll build a submarine out of, out of, out of old parts. They built a submarine for this because they, they didn't have a submarine. Look, there's a lot of CGI in here. I know. I get it. I get it. There is a lot of CGI. But the sets are incredible. Spanish galleon, full-size Spanish galleon ship. You need one? Let's build it. They built it. Full-size. Need a lighthouse? We don't have a lighthouse to go to? We'll build a lighthouse. They built a lighthouse onto, onto, on our house. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You need the under undersea grotto. We'll build one. The sets are absolutely incredible. Look, one of my favorite scenes here is they're going to Sicily. Well, they couldn't get permission to film in, in the old parts of Sicily, so what did they do? Recreate the entire town in Sis of Sicily. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable, the sets. Let's talk a little bit about the movie now. What do we got here? This is an origin story of Aquaman. Um, you know, his father was a lighthouse. Uh, attendant and he sees this woman laying on the beach in the middle of the night in a storm and it's Nicole Kidman uh, she's come up from from Atlantis she's she's running away from an arranged marriage she, she wanted nothing to do with it and he falls in love with her and they have a baby uh, so it's half human half Atlantean and it turns out you know that's Arthur and there's gonna be some spoils here okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I can't talk about this movie at all. I mean, without spoiling something. But, you know, if you don't want any spoilers, go ahead and leave. But anyway, so they have this child. And, you know, everything's rocking along good. He, he, can, he can communicate with fish and things like that. And then they, the Atlanteans come to get the mom to take her back. Yeah, absolutely incredible uh, battle scene in the lighthouse um, to take her back. And... She goes back. She defeats him, but she goes back because she wants to save, you know, save her son. And, and she wants to keep the people from coming up. She says, I'll come back. So she goes back. Well, she leaves um, this, this guy. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think it's, oh yeah, William Defoe, Volko, to train Arthur so that he can become the king eventually. And that's what the story's about. She goes back, has another child. Look, she, she has another child. They, ex she, uh, man, I can't talk too much about this. I don't want to ruin it too much for you. Anyway, I, I just can't. I don't want to ruin it for you. So what, what happens is, is, is Aquaman has to fight his younger brother for the kingdom, uh, for control of the kingdom. His younger brother wants to unite the, the, seven, the seven kingdoms down below so that he can uh, attack the people above for ruining the oceans and things like that. Uh, here comes Mura Amber Heard to, to uh, she's a princess, to get him to come back so he could, he could be the rightful king so that this doesn't happen. 
He doesn't want to go down there. He doesn't want to be a king. Uh, he doesn't feel like he's worthy enough. Um, and then you get this other character start getting involved. Manta gets involved in here. Manta is, is, is awesome. If I tell you too much about it, I, I just don't want to ruin it for you. I think that's enough about the movie. Um, there's an epic battle scene at the end. Um, let's talk a little bit now about the 3D. The 3D is absolutely amazing. It's absolutely incredible. It, it, it's, it's definitely uh, a reference quality disc. It rivals Avatar. It's The colors are incredible. The depths are incredible. You got Trident sticking out of the screen in your face. I'll put three fingers up. You got a trident sticking out of the screen in your face. You got these rocks flying out. Uh, you got some flyouts. The depths are incredible. The ocean scenes are beautiful. Everything. There's never a flat moment in here. It's, it's you know, and it's just the way that they filmed this and the way they framed it. And the action scenes, absolutely incredible in 3D. You, you got to see this in 3D. It's the only way to see it. The movies, the music score is good. Uh, I really enjoyed the music score. Uh, I kind of get vested in, in Mara, Mara and, and, and Arthur. There's a, there's a good relationship here with his mom. I don't want, there's some things that happen. I can't talk that much about it. I keep saying that. Uh, but the 3D is absolutely incredible. And the thing about this, why didn't I get into this sooner? Well, you know, Aquaman, he, for, to me, uh, he never was one of those superheroes I want to, you know, I want to follow. I mean... You look at the old comic book covers, you know, he's, I don't want to say he's, he's kind of a joke. I mean, you know, he's riding on this goofy looking seahorse, right? It's a goofy looking seahorse. But you compare that to the seahorse now that this, that, that, that this director has done and the way this director has portrayed him as a powerful, powerful, you know, macho type guy and all these sea creatures, the way they're done is absolutely amazing. The CGI and everything on the sea creatures is absolutely amazing. So I didn't get into it when I was a kid, Uncle Man. I saw this. I didn't get into it. I didn't want, you know, didn't think about it as much for the movie. But they put that bug in my ear and I had to watch it. And man, I'm telling you, I'm glad I did. So what I'm going to do with this. I am going to give Aquaman 3D 5.0 for the movie. I'm going to give it 5.0 for the 3D. I mean, it's it's just unbelievable. I, I can't keep talking about it. I'm going to ruin it. Um, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. I'm telling you right now. So, did you see it? Did you see it in 3D? Did you see it in 3D at, at the theaters in 2018? I'll leave some comments below about that. Maybe, did you see it in 2D? Maybe you saw it in 2D. Leave some comments about that. What do you think of this Aquaman? What do you think of Jason Momoa's Aquaman? What did you think of Amber Heard's portrayal of Mira? I think Amber Heard just kind of knocked it out of the park. She's absolutely adorable. Uh, she does a great job in here. All right? Leave some comments below and let me know. I want you to hit that like and subscribe button. I want you to have a good night. Stay safe. And as always, God bless.